all sorts of things. Cruise by Robin Hood here. Uh, Christmas morning, 12.08 p.m., Christmas afternoon. Um, Dutch is kind of going off a little bit. And I'm going to open a package. Now, um, here, let me, uh, let me just hit that fucking mute button so you don't have to hear Dutch yammering while I'm trying to talk. Um, so yeah, I got this in the mail. Uh, it's a Christmas gift, I believe. And the thing is, I got this problem with with these little black piss ants, right? Um, right. The problem. Can you can you see the little fucker? All right. And they they seem to like this box. And I've had this in my room for two days now, um, waiting on Christmas morning to open it. And I just, I, I thought that I sat this on something, you know, like a spot of jelly or some shit. I don't know what's going on. I'm starting to think that whatever's in this box, ants fucking like. So, oh, fuck. I'm going to open this. I'm going to open this. See, this is where it's been sitting. See the ants? Yeah. Now, I admit there is a little bit of sugared coffee residue in the bottom of that sink but uh, I don't think really I don't know but uh, yeah fucking whatever so last night I picked this package up and set it on the bed next to me um, for, for whatever reason I, I don't recall and that's when I noticed there was ants, right, associated with with the box. And see, we're cracking it open, cracking it open. Okay, there are definitely ants inside the box. Yeah. Right. So, anyway. Um, there's some packing poofies, um, Amazon receipt stuff apparently there. We'll just put that over there. Oh, holy cow. It's coffee. It's 12 coffees variety pack around the world in 12 coffees. Now I see no reason at all for ants to be interested in this box. It's, it's sealed very well. There's a plastic uh, wrapping, uh, like almost a heat shrink wrapping on that. So, so this is not attracting, that is not attracting ants. But boy, the box has just got them fucking flipping. I think they reused this box for something. There seems to be, <gasps> uh-oh, uh-oh. 24 ounce peanut butter chocolate fudge. I think I'm starting to understand what's going on here now. Okay. Um, all right. So this is going to be kind of cool. Hold on a second. Um, I've had a couple of, uh, let me sit you down over here. I've had a couple of people ask me in, uh, in the comments of a couple of my videos, uh, why I keep a propane torch in the bathroom. Well, I don't really keep it in the bathroom per se. It was just it happened to be in the bathroom when I was making that last video. I also keep this in the kitchen area. But, um, but uh, so yeah, this is why. This is why I keep a blowtorch in the fucking bathroom, kitties. And uh, I'm getting a little low on gas, I think. So, uh, so it's kind of doing the fucking flare up flame out thing. 
and uh, I'm just trying to kill some of these little fuckers. So that I can simply get in to the fucking box of chocolate goodies, chocolate peanut butter fudge goodies that we have here. Holy shit, a fucking brony. Yeah, a bunch of them on the bottom of the box. There's just a, a shitload of amps here. And, uh, Oh my fucking god. And as you can see, uh, now, I've been told I'm a bit of a slob. And that may be true to a point. But I tell you, I'm fucking fastidious with sweets and foods and shit like that. They're still fucking everywhere. Look at them just fucking scrambling. Oh fuck, I gotta get this thing open. I, I might have to throw this whole shittery in the bathtub and deal with it that way, fuck. But anyway, no, I'm super fucking careful about food and hygiene and shit like that around here. And, and this is why, because particularly in winter, in this, oh fuck. I was hoping these would be packed in, um, Fuck. Packed in uh, a glass jar or something. Because they're inside there. Fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck a fuck a fuck or whatever like that. Hey, so yeah, that's a real drag. And now I basically have a box of ants. Right? Um, oh. And huh, how long has that been sitting there gassing off? Maybe I should open this door. <sighs> Fuck me. Oh boy. All right, well, whatever. I, I just, I'm, I'm so far from giving a fuck right now. It, it's, I, I just, I, oh my fucking God. I, I just, this, this fucking just bugs, man. And this is really nobody's fault. This is not the fault of the, uh, not the fault of the building owner, not the fault of the building manager, the motel manager. This is fucking Northern California in the wintertime, Jack. Um, and I'm sure uh, others will tell you that, uh, That sometimes, no, we're not going to do that. Sometimes, no matter how sanitary you try to keep your shit, it's going to be a fucking issue, right? So anyway, um, uh, God. So the the twenty-four ounce peanut butter chocolate fudge um, stuff that I got here from langschocolates.com uh, at 350 Pine Street, Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Looks like great stuff, and, um, and I'm pretty excited about it. And I'll tell you, I, I'm not really, um, there's, there's not much that, uh, that Mother Nature can throw in front of me that's gonna scare me or give me pause or make me go, oh, well, hmm. I'm going to change my ways to fucking work around that horse shit. You know, like ants in the fucking fudge. Okay, I can handle ants in the fudge. I don't mind ants in the fudge. Um, this kind of pisses me off, though. I don't like ants in my, my fucking my tea stain, strainer. So, yeah, fucking ants, ants, ants. All right. All right. So, um... And I should have put a Buddhist warning. I guess I'll do that in the uh, in the description. I'll go ahead and put a Buddhist warning on my fucking video. Because <clears throat> I'll, I'll tell you something. I, I made an arrangement with the insects. Uh, 
when I was homeless, when I was actually living and I wasn't homeless, I had a tent, right? I had a tent and some dirt. Uh, the dirt didn't belong to me. The person that owned the dirt had no fucking clue I was there. Um, but that's all part of the game. Uh, sometimes in our lives. Uh, so anyway, I had this deal with insects and bugs and, and just, just, just nature in general. It was when I'm in my tent, right? When I'm in my fucking place, no fuck with me. Right? I don't fuck with you, you don't fuck with me. So, uh, if there was a spider on the outside of my tent flap, right, I'd pick him up with a stick or on my hand or whatever, I'd carry him around to some spidery looking territory and drop his ass off, you know, so he'd continue to be a spider. But if the same spider was on the other side of my tent flap and say I woke up at three in the morning and saw that fucker eyeballing me, he's dead, dead. Okay, so um, spiders, ants, aphids, um, annoying children. I, I really don't give a fuck. You come into my place, right, like this, you get up on my fucking fudge, and um, I'm going to have to take steps. So anyway, um, that's it, and an um, awful lot of ants were injured in the making of this video. Thanks, bud.